I don't think anybody would ever choose to do this work. On August 6, 2003, my life as I knew it came crashing down. I was out of town on um, business and I got a call from my dad to tell me that my husband Woody, of almost 10 years, was found hanging from the rafter of our garage, dead at age 37. Woody wasn't depressed. He had no history of depression or suicidality or any other mental illness. The coroner had called me and asked me if Woody was on any medication. She goes, oh no, there's a bottle of Zoloft sitting on the kitchen counter. I think we're gonna take it with us. It might have something to do with his death. I knew something was wrong. We have given over to the world's second biggest industry, pharmaceuticals, the power over our health. Do we need a pill for every ill or have we been duped by science? Healthcare is big business and we're the customers. We are 5% of the world's population and yet we take 75% of all pharmaceutical drugs. In the advertising and marketing of pharmaceuticals, it has exponentially grown. They sell fear, but they also sell hope. I mean, who doesn't want to be sold hope? Hope has been distorted by spiders who have a business, science, marketing, and advertising. Because no one should ever have to say, how come we didn't know? It's not until when millions of people start taking these drugs that you may see harms emerge. So it's always about, let's get the drugs on the market, let's get people, millions of people taking them, let's have advertising. And the safety always comes after the fact. That is one of the, the goals of this film, that people are informed, educated, moved, inspired to make maybe some their own change. Woody might have been considered acceptable collateral damage, but for me, he was my husband. He was a son. He was an uncle. He was a potential father to be. And so acceptable collateral damage are somebody's love in their life. Woody used to always say to me, I will never judge my life based on how much money I make um, or my career. It'll be, I'll base it on my family, my friends, and leaving the, the world a better place. And so that has been my mission for him.